All right, nauseating camera time as well. Rabbits, what am I hearing? It's like wet things being popped. Biomatter detected, limestone, ossified organic matter, unidentified source, structural integrity 98%. Just stay here. Selaginella crassiana, African club moss, wrought iron, integrity fifty four per cent. This, this here looks important. What is that over there? Oh my god. Was that a rabbit that exploded? I didn't actually see it, but I saw a cloud of blood and there's rabbits all around here. Does it kill any organic matter that comes through? Fever tree. That must be the biome seeding device. Carved representation, scribe, limestone. Ooh, there was something here in night vision, or not night vision, heat vision. Backup power node. What is this bar down here? Gotta shut this down. Is this like a timed thing? I don't think I can properly describe just how frustrating the movement is. Maybe this would be easier if I zoom out, because then I could like double click all the way over here and then not have to click all along the way. That Yeah, that'll be easier. I don't know if I really do need to keep doing this or if I'm just wasting my time and it needs to be done in a certain order. <laughs> I might be totally wasting my time. This. Yes. That's obviously the big glowy thing in the center. Um, what do the others represent exactly, though? This would be the two ones right next to each other at, you know, over there in the place you can't see. It looks to me like we're supposed to either start here or on the other side, uh, given that apparently I can't do it here. Oh no, there we go. It looked like it started from this one and then it went all the way around. And then finally, back to the very beginning. I hope we can make it there in time, because I can't hit any of the other ones on the way. I don't think we're going to make it. Oh, we did. Yes. Oh. Heck yeah, it worked. I might stay zoomed out for Pooch, just because it's so nauseating. Broken biome seating device. Structural integrity, 88%. It 
so peaceful. African club moss. And now the rabbits are free to roam and not explode. This thing is in bad need of repairs. Can be combined. What else could I combine it with to repair it? Let's have him scan the item. <laughs> Begin scan! Oh, don't tell me that's garbage. Oh, wait. Go fuck yourself. There's something engraved on here. Hmm? Gold phallus. Cool. The phallus has a crude poem engraved on it. Today, Father Emerson did something he had never done before. He called on Bakir and Doomsage to settle a tiny score. While the traitor Mendelbaum cried out to his friends for help, Bakir and Doomsage carefully removed his scalp. I don't entirely understand that, but it feels deeply cursed to me. I see you have returned, Wanderer. The bones perceive your future and past. They call to you. I'd like to speak about what we found hidden in the Glossolalia. There is much in there. Old books, shattered dials, dead vines. The maidens are banned from going inside, for it is too dangerous. There is a garden behind a caved-in wall. My shame. Is it still bewitching? It was created in a moment of weakness. A moment where I strived for something beautiful. I was under a spell. Why are you hiding it? Why keep it from your maidens? They would never forgive me. Never. I had the power to change everything. I had true magic. I used that magic once. For myself. If my maidens discovered that I had wasted that to create something so selfish, I brought them here. I squandered a chance to make this place whole again, they would never forgive me. They would leave. Be truthful. Is my garden still flourishing? It's still beautiful. It's proof that life can return to this wasteland. Thank you. Tell me no more. I am sorry. Shame has bound me to this place. I am rusted. I will never move again. But my maidens deserve more. They are in dire need of replacement parts. With the warden open, I can help them. Would you be so kind as to pass on a note to a trader at the kettle? It is a list of what we need. On your return, I will provide a gold item for your time. And of course, I will provide the trader with payment. Please, do not mention my maidens or the secrets you have learned here. The maidens and the garden are all that old Lebanon has left in this world. If the maidens learn the truth, they would surely leave. That would be sad for Lebanon, but might it be good for the Maidens? It's not like Lebanon is the only one who matters here. Can we talk with them? If we wanted to, could I talk with them again? No. Okay, so it's just not an option right now. 
list of items that Lebanon needs to prolong his life at the Boneyard. I think I want to go back for now and actually deal with that before I go explore this place any further. First thing, talk to the trader. Scanning for poisons. Change your mind on selling me the old buffalo? Nope. How much for the leg? Not for sale. Everything is for sale. Just gotta find the right price. I've got something important to talk about. I'm helping a friend out with a deal. You want to be part of it. Is this friend poor? Because I have enough poor friends. Any gold we have leaves pretty fast. This is a list of the stuff he needs. And yes, he can pay. Sure. Looks extensive. Lots of stuff with lots of credits. So, we're going to do a deal. 50-50 split. Who gets which half? A kid, Chief. Out of interest, who is your friend? Lebanon of the Boneyard in Sharon. Jeron, you say? I heard that the Bass Warden was on the map again. Ah, no thanks, Chief. It's too far for me. Too far if we're splitting any profit. Now, if this friend really needs help, and we don't need to split any profits... You're trying to guilt me into giving you the whole deal? I would never. But if you really like this friend... Okay, no profit share. Just make sure he gets his supplies. Okay, Chief, I'll do it. I got no gold, but I can give you information. It's a deal. Uh, I can tell you about... You've met a fly. Well, here is a juicy secret, ne? Those bristle worms of theirs were actually bred to be food. Meat. Apparently, they taste like spicy chicken. The witnesses grow them nice and big. I had an uncle who swore it was true. That's the best I can do. This list has the delivery details. I'll arrange it, Chief. Good man. I didn't actually mean to do a 50-50 split of the deal. I wasn't quite sure that that's what I was... Like, I didn't quite understand what I was doing there. Thankfully, it worked out just fine. But I wasn't trying to skim more profits off the top or anything like that. It's not what I wanted to do. So is there... Well, I can't even talk with them, so there definitely is not anything new for me to buy. I think we can probably go speak with the maiden now. Oh, hey. Um, how, what was her name? Loose Lips isn't here anymore. Amazing, brother. Your destiny twists and turns like the root of the baobab. The deeper you dig in this harsh world, the more water you need to satisfy the thirst of the ancestors. What can we do for you? It took some doing, but I found the long-lost maidens. Wanderer, your news has touched us beyond words. Do our sisters live? Uh, I mean, they're... They are alive, right? Right? I mean, they're not... A human. Were they ever human? I... I'm trying to figure out whether this is, like, telling them truth or lying, or if this is semantics or what. Like, yes, they are there? Yes, they are alive. A bit worse for wear, but alive. That is wonderful. You are a treasure. Our very own wanderer of light. Do not keep us in suspense. Where are they? I found them at Shiron, at Lebanon's boneyard. We must make plans to go to them at once. At the end of the season, we will travel to Chiron. Inja, bless you. Not sure they're going to be too happy to see them, but... It's a good thing. I'm thinking we might be able to repair the biome seating device. Just like we repaired Buddy here at the Flay. In the hatchling... whatever... this uh, Flay hatchery. Well, that didn't seem to do anything. All right, scan this gold dick. Mm -hmm. 
We've already scanned that. Anything else that's new? Mm, this is new. I think that's it. Still want to know why is this emanating green? What does it think I can do here? I saw a green mark over at the mongrel's place. You've opened up the warden to bus. Velocity. Have you been there? We have. And the warden is open for you to travel there as well. My ancestral home. The Agnates, they melted the cities. They stripped it bare. We've been running for so long, we gave up hope of ever seeing it again. Is the weapon real? We haven't found it yet, but we're still searching. You have opened up a way back to boss for us. Here, please accept this. This token holds the DNA imprint of the first mongrels who settled here. It's been in my family for generations. Take it. Perhaps it will bring you luck on your journey. Bring us the boss weapon. Our ancestors would want us to have it. It is the key to our freedom. Our first token. So, I don't know if I really explained this before, but based on the walkthrough I was looking at a long time ago, when I was totally stuck, uh, tokens are the things that you need to be able to play the, uh, the, what is it, the, in the arcade? That, that whole, like, fighting arcade game thing. Uh, yeah, you need tokens to be able to play it. And this is one of them. A worn and ancient token engraved with the image of a gas mask. Pooch is having so much fun, it's so cute. Alright, back to the boneyard. Auntie Una, I'm back with some news. It's pleasant to see you again, our wanderer. I told the kettle maidens about you. We did not want that. You interfere with things you do not understand. They miss you. They want to reunite with you. Could it be that we were wrong? We stayed in the boneyard to help Lebanon and tend to this patch of soil. Our hatred for our sisters has festered and grown while we toiled away. And yet, they welcome us with open arms. We have paid our debt to Lebanon. If the Kettle Maidens can forgive us for leaving, then so can we forgive them for not following us. We shall leave at once and commune with our sisters. Goodbye, and thank you for showing us a path to forgiveness. Lebanon's not going to be too happy about that. Uh-oh. I think it's a good thing, though. But what does that mean for Lebanon? This place, it's incredible. I've been waiting for you. The bones shook when you landed. Good news. I've secured a trade deal for you. Perhaps this is the start of the new dawn of Bass. Until we meet again. Farewell, Wanderer. So that's it. But the maidens are going to leave. What about Lebanon? Ancient and dull, but gold is still worth a price. Should I go back to the kettle? Will the maidens already be back? They said they're gonna leave at once. Just went up into the sky, came down, and sure enough, they're gone. Um, there was also a green mark around here, so I'm guessing now that they're gone, we'll have a different conversation with Lebanon. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. The bones woke me from my slumber. They twist in the dust. What do you want? The maidens have left to rejoin their sisters in the kettle. My only connection to the world. Gone. They were not yours to keep here, Lebanon. If you love them, you have to see that. This is the heaviest sorrow I have ever borne. Leave. 
before my true nature is revealed. I still totally did the right thing, but shit, I was hoping there'd be some quest to fix them. I mean, surely we could do something to fix them and then they could move and not just be stuck here alone. Wanted to see if the maidens were back together here, but weirdly enough, none of them are here at all. We've had a green mark to go back to cases for a while now. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to be talking about. Raisin sad. Someone stole from us. Any attempt to enter home tree will be met with violence. Raisin don't want violence. Please go. I'm sorry you're sad, Raisin. Can I help? Sad cause we're leaving. Raisin, no let non kick us up. But still, someone stole Kekus leaving now. Too scared to stay. Please leave the area! Where will you go? That information is classified. This unit is unlikely to survive an extended journey. We'll live. We'll protect. Raisin Brave. Raisin? I feel bad for Raisin. So, back here with the Hanasi. This is Uti Uti. And I can give them the Kekus map data. And I think I can also give it to the Chizanyama as well. It's been a while since we've done anything with this quest, but... I think I wanted to give it to Uti so that they would have a position to um, negotiate with the Chizanyama. Because I think it sounded like the Chizanyama were really going to screw over the Honesty. I don't, I don't quite remember, but I think so. So, I'm going to make a save, <laughs> and then let's do it. Mark Leslie, you honor us with these gifts. Our memory walker told us what it saw when your name was revealed in the record. I am glad to know the record spoke truth. You helped the Hanasi, and we are in your debt. It's an honor to be part of the Hanasi story. A great story it is. Your name shall be in song for many generations. So how do we get the tether device from the Chizanyama? We have been trying to gain access to the Chizanyama homeland for some time. I have only one question, which will help in our negotiations. I'll do anything I can to help end this peacefully. Do the Chizanyama have any Hanasi working inside their shield? Oh, that's a really hard question to answer. The truth is, yes, they had slaves, right? Didn't they? Yeah, they had slaves working for them, building their craft and stuff. But if I answer honestly, are they going to be interested? Is Uthi going to be interested in ending this peacefully? I mean, they have fucking slaves of their people. Uh, I'm going to be honest. Yes, they had Hanasi slaves. Addicted to herb, working for the next hit. Chizayama dogs, to trade the memory of our ancestors to slave labor is abomination. They will feel the wrath of the Hanasi. They will feel a fire. The Kekas map show a way into the village, a way to get past their shield. They will burn. You may collect your tether device from the smoldy ruins of the Chizayoma homeland. Take this token to honor us in the arena. You have earned it. Now be gone. We ready ourselves for war. Okay, yeah, no, no. That 
that makes sense. Being truthful there was not the wise thing to do. So, we're gonna lie. The thing is, like, at some point, surely they're gonna find out the truth. That they do have slaves, and then... I don't know. And yeah, this is kind of safe scumming, but I don't know. I feel all right with it. Yeah, they did. But the Hanasi workers looked well taken care of. Many Hanasi have been missing over the years. We suspected they were lured away, but we never had proof. Thank you, Mark Leslie. The Kehaka's maps show a way to their village. A way to get past their shield. We will surprise them with a visit. In a while, return to the Chizen Yoma homeland. We will have negotiate your tether device. You have shown that you are a friend of the Hanasi. Please take this token to honor us in the arena. You have earned it. Man, I'm really worried about what's going to happen when they surprise them with a visit. How could they visit and not find out the truth? And not find out that what I just told them was a complete lie, and then they'll explode and kill them all. Yeah, so, um... This doesn't look very good, does it? That looks like a smoldering wasteland. Like they burned it to the ground. Yep. At least Uti left us the tether. Hmm. Is there no way for this to end peacefully? I don't think there... There doesn't seem to be a way to do it from the Uti side. But perhaps if I speak with the Shizunyama, I don't know if I can say anything, but maybe if I... I don't know, I can give them the map data, but then... That's just going to give them an even stronger position over the Hanasi. So yeah, I, I can't talk to the Shizunyama, I can just give them the map data. I know this is like super cheap to be just trying all the possibilities and then loading and picking the one I want, but... I don't know, I'm going to do it. I want to do it. I have no particular justification for it. I just want to do it. Mark Leslie, you have returned to us again and with knowledge of the gateway to Leal. Good. Now go. What about the tether? You weak-minded fool. You have the mind of a Nazi slave. Our ark is built around the tether. Did you think we would dare out the very heart of our creation to help someone like you? A stranger to this land. One who knows nothing about our history, our customs, our gods. When you first arrived at our gate, Chaka here wanted to rip off your head and use your skull as a bowl. But I know a useful idiot when I see one. I wasn't expecting that. Well, this has pretty much cemented my decision. Of what my decision's gonna be. Wait, what about the Hanasi? The Hanasi will wither and perish without the herb, or they will tear each other apart out of fear when they realize we have left. Generations ago, they looted our homeland and left us nothing but ash. And as vengeance, we will not lift a finger. They will destroy themselves. We will take our Ark to Leal and banquet with our gods. We will take our tether device with us. But we will give you this token of our appreciation as a final way to let our warriors spill blood on this earth. Goodbye, Mark Leslie. I'm... Curious, if they don't give us the tether device, don't we need that to, like, finish the game? There must be some alternative way to get it. This makes me wonder, what if we went back to the Hanasi now? By the time we get back, I think the Cheese and Yama are just going to be gone into some other dimension. Nope, can't talk to Uthi. 
So, gave the map data to Uthi, told them that they did have slaves, the Chizanyama. At least Uthi left us the tether. The tether performs the trillions of calculations needed to keep the wormhole boundary active. They burned a village. Or if there's going to be anything else here at all. Not a single dwelling in the village has been left unscathed. All life in the village has been annihilated. The wooden planks lie in, a, in jagged splinters. I know the smell. Ugh. Bodies of slain she's and Yama have been piled together. The legs of the tower have been chopped to pieces. The herb's charred remains emit a bitter smell. The ravaged vessel stands forlorn in the middle of the smoldering village. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return next time, we're going to explore Clemens Urnfield.